Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to manually update your Nexus to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Now Google has officially released Marshmallow, but the update is on a staged rollout, so it may take as long as a month for it to hit your Nexus device. But the factory images are already up, so if you don't want to wait, you can manually install the update right now. Before we get started, I should note that this method requires you to unlock your bootloader, which will wipe all of the data on your device. So if you have any locally stored files that you want to keep, make sure to copy them to an external storage location before you begin. But the first thing you'll need to do is enable USB debugging on your Nexus device. That means you'll have to have developer options enabled, which can be done by tapping the build number entry under about device seven times in rapid succession. But beyond that, just make sure to enable the USB debugging option here in the Developer Options menu. And to be on the safe side, I'd also recommend that you change your storage type to PTP instead of MTP in the Storage menu and Settings. Then if you own a Nexus 6, there's an additional step that you absolutely can't skip. While you're in the Developer Options menu, make sure to tick the box next to Enable OEM Unlock before you do anything else. Outside of that, most of the rest of the work will be done on a computer, so let's head over there. Now if you own a Windows PC, I'd recommend that you use a program called Nexus Root Toolkit to manually update your device. It makes everything very easy with its clickable GUI, and in my opinion, it's the best way to go. I've got the Nexus Root Toolkit method covered in detail over at the full tutorial, so be sure to check that out if you own a PC. But since that's only available for Windows, I decided to cover the universal method that'll work on PC, Mac, or Linux. First up, you'll need to install ADB and Fastboot on your computer. The process behind that will vary greatly depending on your operating system, so we covered that with a separate article that you can find at the full tutorial for this one. But once you've installed ADB and Fastboot, the next thing you'll need to do is download the Android 6.0 factory images for your particular device. I have this page linked out at the full tutorial. And basically, you just find your device, then look for the Android 6.0 build, and click the link right next to it to download the updated firmware. Then when that's done downloading, you'll need to copy the file and extract it into a specific folder. Again, this one varies depending on your OS, but look in your ADB installation directory, then open the Platform Tools folder. Next, just paste the factory image file directly in this folder, then use a program like 7-Zip to extract the contents of the TGZ archive. Once you've done that, you'll find another archive. Again, just extract this archive directly into the Platform Tools folder. When that's done, open the folder it created, then copy all of the files that you find. From here, head back to the Platform Tools folder, then paste those files directly in here. Next up, open a command prompt window and change directories to the Platform Tools folder. That's fairly easy on Windows. Just hold down the Shift key, then right-click any empty space in the Platform Tools folder, and choose Open Command Window here. This next step is the part that's going to wipe all your data. If you haven't done so in the past, you'll have to unlock your bootloader to enable manual updating. To get started with that, type ADB Reboot hyphen bootloader, then hit Enter. At this point, your Nexus will boot into bootloader mode, which is a black screen with green and white text. Once you see that menu, you're ready to unlock your bootloader. Type Fastboot OEM Unlock, then hit Enter to do just that. Then over on your Nexus, you'll see a screen asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Press the volume up to highlight the yes option here, then press the power button to select it. It'll take as much as a few minutes to complete the process, and when it's done your phone will reboot back into bootloader mode. At that point you're ready to install the Marshmallow update. So with the same terminal window open, go ahead and type flash hyphen all and hit enter. This should automatically flash all of the factory images for you and update your device to Android 6.0. But as you can see here, some devices will have trouble with the flash all script. So if you get any error messages like unable to find boot.img, you'll have to flash the images individually. Before you can do that, you'll have to extract the rest of the images. So look for the last remaining archive from that file you downloaded earlier, which should be a zip. Go ahead and extract the contents of this zip, and when it's done, you'll be all set to go. From here, go ahead and open another command prompt window and navigate to the Platform Tools folder again. After that, type Fastboot Flash Bootloader, then the bootloader image file name. To help with that last part, head to the Platform Tools folder and copy the name of the image file that says something about bootloader. From there, go ahead and paste that file name into the command prompt window. Then make sure to add .img to the end if it's not already there. 
So in the end, using the Nexus 5 as an example, the first command is fast boot flash bootloader bootloader hyphen hammerhead hyphen hhz12k.img. Well, once you hit enter here, it'll flash the new Android 6.0 bootloader on your device. So from here, let's reboot to the new bootloader. Type fast boot reboot hyphen bootloader and hit enter, then the new bootloader will be loaded up. After that, it's only a matter of flashing the other six image files using the same format. So next up, we'll do fastboot flash recovery, then look for the recovery image file name and type that in. Repeat the same process for all seven of the image files and your device will be updated to Marshmallow. I've got the exact commands ready for you to copy and paste over at the full tutorial, so it should be fairly simple. When you're done with all those though, type fastboot reboot to finalize your work, then you should be running Android Marshmallow when you get back up. And I know this was a lot to absorb from one video, so if you'd rather follow along at your own pace with step-by-step -step instructions, be sure to check out my full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.